Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things now. We see them, and in today's episode, is a very serious one to me. The, the, the topic is the shocking audio that exposes the corruption in the MVP voting system. So that's the, the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, we have our Dreamers Pro Online Sports Community. So online platform that we ourselves created here it's a place where you go and start basketball uh the basketball debates on hot topics it's a, a place where you can chat live during games go with us after games you know go live with us after games so we can take questions and interact it's a place where you can consume original content that you're pretty much going to get nowhere else and do so many other cool things so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check that out we have that linked in the description below and get seven days of access also with the playoffs ramping up and games ramping up again guys you don't want to miss out on that so make sure you go and check it out i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it for the uh, for the people that give it a shot anyway so let me get into this topic here it's a very serious topic that i want to get into now listen i've criticized the media all season long for making the MVP race about favorites. They have favorite players, and it's all about favoritism, in my, in my opinion, and it seldom has anything to do with substance, although for some years now, they, they, they the, the results have been so undeniable that some certain people that won needed, to, like they had to win uh, no matter what. Going into this season, we all remember who was one of the leading candidates for MVP. That was Luka Doncic. Now, I don't know how you can go into a regular season without a single ball being bounced, and all of a sudden you have a favorite to win MVP. Going into the regular season, the the media media members had pegged or tagged uh, Luka Doncic to be the favorite to win the MVP. Now, quickly, that went out the window because the Dallas Mavericks only have the number eight seed uh, in the NBA. So that 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 plan that 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 plan that they had in mind quickly went out the window. So quickly, they they they, they got rid of him and they needed to find somebody else, right? Without even though they hadn't played one game, then they automatically chose. Okay, it's going to be LeBron. LeBron is going to be the regular season MVP, right? Because uh, he's the best player in the world. So it must be LeBron James to win the regular season MVP, right? They automatically chose him. And I complained for about the first two months of the season that, listen, the Clippers had a very good record. Kawhi Leonard was doing his thing. He was not load management managing. He had great numbers. He was actually putting up career numbers from the three-point line and 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 and, and, and scoring per game and actually per, uh, assists per game. Nobody was mentioning him. I didn't say he should have been the regular season MVP, but I was saying, why wasn't Kawhi Leonard being mentioned in the regular season MVP. That was something that was bothering me. Now, some people say, well, he's a future of your being. You're only saying that because he's your favorite player. That's what. And guess what? A lot of people that would say that would also be saying the exact same thing for maybe LeBron or whoever else because that's their favorite player. So your opinion is, is, is um, uh, nullified. So I was saying that because I said, listen, his team was doing well. Not because I think I just like the guy. Like currently, I don't think Kawhi Leonard should be in the regular season MVP discussion. So I, I'm not one of those type of uh, people that just solely just solely operates off of um, emotions. But after some time, the media seemed to settle on two candidates. That was LeBron James and Joel Embiid. Now, to be fair, Joel Embiid was having a monster seat. Like it was, is having a monster season. I'm not going to get into his numbers. You guys already know his numbers. If you don't know his numbers, just go go and hunt his numbers down. You can you, you can find them. They're very easy to find. And LeBron James is putting up some fantastic numbers. I think getting you 26, 8, and 8. Fantastic numbers for, 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 the, for the season. Then one of our members on our platform, Greg, we when we posed the question on the platform as one of our uh, one of our uh, discussions, he was like, But what about Donovan Mitchell? How is it that Donovan Mitchell is not being um, be, being mentioned? And I said to myself, he has a very good point. What about Donovan Mitchell? Why is Donovan Mitchell not being mentioned for regular season MVP? Why is he not at the top of the list for regular season MVP, right? Why are they not mentioning him? The Jazz have the best record in the NBA. He's an all-star. So why, is it, wh wh why, why aren't they mentioning him? And what did media members do and fans? They came up with every excuse imaginable not to give Donovan Mitchell his credit. That's what we did. That's what we're doing here. We get we came up with every single reason not to give this guy his credit. That's what we're doing. And then just last night or two nights ago, Charles Barkley, the most outspoken man, the most honest man in sports, right up there with him and Skip Bayless, called out the media for their corruption on the MVP voting. He called out Shaq and Kenny Smith, and it was an indictment on the whole MVP voting system. So before I go too far, I want you guys to take a listen to this audio of Charles Barkley uh, holding these guys' feet to the fire. 
Listen, Chris Paul is having a great year. You know, he does have the youngsters playing. He's leading them very well. They're playing well. Devin Booker is starting to get his form back. But I disagree. He's, he should not be mentioned for MVP. He's having a good year. I don't think he should be mentioned because if you don't have a chance to win, shouldn't be mentioned. What do you mean you don't have a chance to win? You don't have a chance to win MVP. Stop it. Well, no, th well, that's not true. He uh, does not have a chance to win. Well, you, you know what? Your, your comment is making people hate. Me. Yes, he does because, not have a chance to win. It, because you, if you say that he doesn't have a chance, to, he's not an MVP candidate, now it seems like you're hating. But he's having a great year. I and the team is having a great year. I said yeah, he's so having is he, a great but year. you're talking about what the Joker and what and Yeah, with MB, come yeah. on. I, I mean, like they got better, they got they got better re and they got a better record than those yeah, guys you but mentioned. But they just had a guy on his but the Joker doesn't have guys that on multiple nights gonna get 30. You were just sitting here bragging all last year about my boy Jamal Murray in the bubble. No, I'm I'm saying that Chris Paul is having a great year. But you're making us feel like we are hating. If we don't, if say we don't feel like he's like he, he, like he if, should be the MVP, I don't understand. MVP. If, if any, if if a guy traded for a guy on a last place team, and they, they weren't were, last place last, they, they did not even make the playoffs last year. They weren't. You said last place. Well, they, they didn't make the playoffs. They were awful. And then last they went year. eight and zero in the bubble. But that don't matter. That the bu they still didn't make the playoffs. Okay. And if if a, if, a, if if a team made a trade in the off season, and they went from last place to first place, why would we not mention that guy for MVP? That's a very fair question. I, I, I think that he... Uh, a, just answer a, the question. I think that he's a key ingredient. But MVP would, to me, just to me, and now you feel like you're, we're hating, but an MVP would mean that he is so dominant Thank by you. himself. No, that's yes. not what the MVP... And B, it ain't Shaq got nothing to do with team. You Stop it. Of course it got something to do with his, team. His, his dominance... Well, let me ask you a question. Okay, the okay. okay that's make all. What, what is he doing different than what Steve Nash did? I, 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 Steve Nash... That's a good question. As a matter of fact, as, yeah. under, as Underdog that's points out, question. Steve Nash was averaging fewer points per game than Chris Paul was. That's, so, so, and, and, I, and, and that's I just thought about that on my feet. Well, what's four, the difference? Oh, four, oh, oh, you, well, now you, go, you, you know you're going to get Shaq on your side. No, but Shaq, first of all, <laughs> Shaq, so, Shaq said... Yeah, the team, like, no, Shaq had just said... First of all, he's 100% wrong. He said a team doesn't matter. The team does matter. The team matters. A, 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 and, I, I and, and, hey, and my only point is... We talk about all these other guys who are playing great. I'm not going to hate on the Joker. I'm not going to hate on Embiid. I'm not going to hate on LeBron. But you think he's doing the same things that Yeah, but if you got two yes, guys... Yes, I think he did. Right. Yeah, okay. but, yeah, but I'm you, not got two guys, you got two guys, for example, Joel Embiid and the Joker that are putting up great numbers. You can't say, okay, because this guy has a better record, he should get the MVP. No. Why can't I, you? I will say this. All right. I, I understand. Jack, when Steve point. Nash won MVP, he wasn't better than you. Well, let me leave. Because this is why I hate success. this stupid argument every year. It's not who the best player. Listen, Michael Jordan was the best player probably three years before he even got in the MVP conversation uh, because his team wasn't any good. So he was already the best player at least three years, if I remember correctly. And listen, I ain't never going to hate on Steve Nash. But he wasn't better than Shaq and Kobe. He but Shaq they had a but better regular We season. agree. Now, in that audio, Charles Barkley was clearly calling out Shaq and Kenny Smith. To the point, and I, we can't show you the video. You guys can go hunt the video down. But we can show you the audio. Uh, let, let you hear the audio. He was calling them out for the hypocrisy. And when he when he pushed further, you could hit, you could see that they had no real reason to not mention Chris Paul as one of the candidates because Charles Barkley's argument was, why isn't Chris Paul being mentioned as one of the candidates for regular season MVP, given the fact that the Phoenix Suns have the number two record in the NBA, in the Western Conference, given the fact that the year before they had missed the playoffs, the only difference is with the, was the addition of Chris Paul. You put Chris Paul on this team, they went from a team that didn't even make it into the playoffs to the number two record in the Western Conference. Why are they not being mentioned? Why are they not being mentioned? That was his argument. And Shaq was, no, 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 it's about the best player in the world. Hold up, you wildin', okay? Michael Jordan was the best player in the NBA from the moment he got into the league to the moment he retired. Jordan should have like 11 regular season MVP awards, if that's the, if that's the rationale we're going to use. The MVP goes to the best player on the best team. We all know this, but we're all playing favoritism. That's all it's about. Giannis Antetokounmpo 
won uh, back-to-back regular season MVPs. You know why he won back-to-back regular season MVPs? Apart from the beast mode numbers that he put up, I'm not even going to go into it, averaging like 29, 14 and something like, just beast mode numbers, was the fact that Giannis Antetokounmpo, number one, was on was having gaudy numbers but more importantly he was the best player on the best team for those two years the milwaukee bucks had the best record in the nba not in the east in the nba for two consecutive seasons and that's the reason why voters had to give him the 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 the, the, um the award some people like shannon sharp who has probably lebron james panties in his house i don't understand why shannon sharp is so much of a fanboy i don't get him listen i'm a Kawhi leonard fan but his own fandom is is, is, is is to a sickening level you need to be able to be honest when you're sitting on tv and you're sitting there giving your viewpoints everything is not a joke half of the stuff that shannon sharp says is not true he's just saying it he knows these things that's why he's always laughing and sticking his tongue out nobody's taking you seriously you're 50 something years old man have some more credibility when you're speaking instead of going up there and being such a fanboy for, for lebron james my god we get it he's your favorite player we get it but be honest why are you overlooking over du- other dudes Stop, take off your your LeBron uh, pajamas, man, and be honest with dudes. You say He says anything. He says anything just because he can say it. That's why half of the time, you know that Shannon Sharp is just up there. And t- I like Shannon Sharp, but I don't like that part about him because you're not being honest and straightforward. You're just saying it because you're a fanboy. And that's the, that's the issue I have with Shannon Sharp. Y'all know that Giannis Antetokounmpo deserved that regular season MVP. And we know that, that, that Donovan Mitchell this year is being robbed. We know that. We know that he's being robbed and these voters are trying to rob him. It's no longer about the most valuable player uh, uh, to their team anymore. Now it's about the most hyped player in the league. That's what the MVP uh, voting is turned into. It's the most hyped player award. Because if, it's, if we're going off a of hype, then there's so many players you can give it to. You just heard Stephen A. Smith mentioning the fact that now he thinks Kyrie Irving, after he scored a 40-point game, now, he should be in the MVP discussion when early in the season, Stephen A. Smith was asking him whether or not Kyrie Irving should retire. Now, all of a sudden, he should be in the MVP discussion. What are we talking about? And that's the part that I like about Charles Barkley because he was calling him on their BS. He said, you guys up here saying nonsense. He was calling him. And then after a point, Kenny Smith had to retract it. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I see. You're making us look like haters. So what are you then? You don't want to give other people their props. They're putting in the work and you're over. You, we talk about it's a meritocracy. Sports is the only thing where it's a results based. No, it's not. If that were the case, we would have so many different outcomes than what we're seeing today. And Charles Barkley, I'm very happy that he called them on their nonsense and their BS. And he said, hold up a minute. Since when did it become the best player in the league winning the, the, the regular season MVP? It's the best player on the best team. We all know this. But we're trying to pick and choose it. We're trying to pick it and skew it to certain ways because we have certain people that we want to win and certain people we don't think should win. Not because of what they're not because of what they're putting in, just just because those guys are more flashy and more hyped. And I think he's right. And I'm happy that we have voices like this in media and Charles Barkley, who's willing to call people out on their nonsense for overlooking guys who deserve to be rewarded for guys who are just flashy and 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 you just want to give it to them for the sake of giving it to them. And I think it's wrong. And I'm thankful that he was able to call him out. So what I want to know from you guys is, do you think Charles Barkley was right? And do you think that the MVP voting system has been rigged, that it has nothing to do with substance? It has everything to do with hype. Whatever you guys think. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.